as you can see under the car, there's a wet spot right here. It took a while to get that big, but I'm losing like a quart every three weeks. And the oil pan is oily, and I just found out that the gasket around the oil pan is leaking, so I'm going to have to replace it. Since I got to take the oil pan off anyway, I might as well uh, put on my new oil pan and my high volume oil pump that I bought a while ago. I was going to save it till later on to put it on at once, but it's a good time as any to put it on. Okay, oil pan down there, gasket, and the high volume oil pump. In the morning, I'm going to the shop because I don't have enough time to do it right now. I'll have them install it. Hello YouTube, uh, as you see in the video right at the beginning, I uh, got a little oil pan leak, so since I got to take the oil pan off anyway to replace the gasket, I'm just going to take it to the shop, have them put in the high flow, uh, the high pressure oil pump, and the new oil pan that I bought earlier, might as well just get it taken care of. And uh, also I like to uh, talk about my goals with the car, what I'm going to be doing. And right now, um, I am still going to supercharge it, but right now I'm putting in the parts that I ordered to strengthen it. I'm going to, right now, tomorrow I'm taking to the shop, oil pan, high pressure oil pump, new gaskets. Uh, I'm going to be putting in a new power steering pump, new lines for the power steering pump. And then after that, I'm going to take it to the shop and have them uh, pull the heads. They're going to port and polish the heads. Uh, I might put uh, roller rockers on there. More likely I will. And I'm also going to put in uh, better head gaskets with better bolts. Uh, so it can handle the boost without having to uh, blow any head gaskets or any problems later on with putting boost. Uh, my goals. I'm not going to be looking for crazy horsepower. I'm looking for max between 290 and 300 horsepower. If I can get in that range and have the torque close to that, uh, I should have a 13 second car. I'm crossing my fingers on that, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna go with the biggest pulley. Uh, I'm going with lower boost and see how much the car reacts, how much I can get out of it. And then with uh, more boost and some tuning, we'll see what happens. But I'm still on track for supercharging the Vulcan. Um, hopefully, I'll have it done by the end of this year. Uh, I know you've been seeing me doing the LED light stuff, but uh, I actually like them. They turned out pretty good for the front of the car. Now I'm going to be working on the back, but I'm still working on getting the car boosted. I'm still buying parts. I still got parts already in order. The only thing I got to do is just make a phone call and have it and buy them and have them shipped but uh until then i'll just keep making videos i'll keep updating you on everything i'm doing and then after that we'll see what happened i'm going to be making uh once i get everything done in car videos i'll be going to the strip i'm going to be videotaping that i'm going to be documenting the progress of the car the ups and the downs uh if it falls flat if something goes wrong i'm going to document it i'm going to see what i can do to fix it and we'll see how much fun we can have with this. So uh, thank you for for the people. I'm over 300 right now. Finally, thank to everybody who pressed that uh, pressed that subscribe button. If you haven't yet, please do so. I guarantee you, I'll keep the content coming, and uh, hopefully, I can give you some ideas on what to do with your Vulcan powered car or truck or van. Uh, until next time, like I said, hit the subscribe button, like this, and uh, I'll see you next time.